Hey, welcome. Hi. We're going to learn how to print 3D style using the Cubify Duo Cubex. First, you start with a jump drive, flash drive, and it has a special type of file. In order to print, you need to manipulate this screen. Click the plus. And you'll see a number of different options on the screen. We'll learn more about many of these options. And as it indicates, it's homing the carriage. For starters, we're going to print a replica of our 2014 First Robotics robot that we built during the competition season. Let's learn a little bit about how a 3D printer operates. First of all, it's important to remember that it operates in the X, the Y, as well as the Z axes. Over in this corner, we see a stepper motor that controls the action using a timing belt in the Y dimension. Here, this motor over here is another stepper motor connected to a timing belt that controls the movement of the print head in the X dimension. The printer, we have another stepper motor connected to a lead screw which controls the movement of the print platform thus rendering a Z axis. Our journey to print begins in the print cartridge which extrudes plastic through a tube leading up to the print cartridge. It's fed via stepper motors, in this case two separate colors of plastic, to print heads. Periodically, excess plastic is cleared off the print head and put in the waste bin. In front of the print head, cool the plastic when it's delivered upon the print head so that it properly forms and doesn't run. The process of 3D printing is known as additive manufacturing. Additive manufacturing occurs when a substance is added layer by layer to form a complete part. This differs from subtractive manufacturing in which material is hewn from a raw material such as metal or wood to produce a finished product. Traditional subtractive devices include milling machines, lathes, drill presses, and other industrial machinery. Is The print heads are heating to 240 degrees. It'll take some time. That we need to do in order to print is to apply glue to the print platter. The glue will keep the melted plastic from shifting during the printing process and enable us to remove the end product more easily. What's going on now is the plastic has reached melting temperature and the printer is putting down a base for the part. The printer removes some of the excess material. The display is currently reading out the temperatures of both of the print jets. This job will require white as well as red. Now you can see that the printer has applied both colors. As we're watching it lay down material on the print platter, we have to recognize that a part like this will take a couple of hours to print, even though it's small. The more facets, the larger the size, the longer the print time. 
We'll check in at various times in the print process to give you an idea of how the product looks. And we'll also give you a picture at the end of the printing. But for now, this has been our introduction to the printing process using our 3D printer.